Welcome back to Arnhem Land Unleashed, where we take you to one of the most remote and beautiful places in Australia and immerse ourselves in four-wheel driving, fishing and Aboriginal culture. Strap in, it's going to be one hell of an adventure. Got kicked out. Kicked off the island. Harapuda, eh? Ah! Oh, no, you're right. Don't kill him, kill him. Motor out, motor yeah. out of gear. What are we doing? We're going night fishing for some mud crabs. What can go wrong? <laughs> yeah, what can go wrong? Crab man. It's still deep enough for me to be worrying a little bit about the crocs. So we're just gonna pour. <laughs> we are out in East Arnhem Land, stuck on a mud flat 15 kilometers away from camp. Welcome back to another episode. This episode we're going to hopefully head out to Bremer Island and try and catch some fish. Fingers crossed we can go mud crabbing and we're also going to head out on a cultural experience. So we hope you enjoy this episode. So when you're in the NT this is exactly what you got to look out for. So we've come across this slide right and you probably already know what I'm about to show you but there's a dwelling of water here and when you come across this right here I don't know if you guys can see this here this is called a croc slide now this gives a good indication that there's probably near a hundred percent chance that there's a croc in that water right there luckily for us it is actually moving out to the ocean because you can tell by the way the claws are facing it's not a very big croc so it's all good but there's definitely a croc in there so just look out when you come into a dwelling of water Look out for these things because it's a pretty good indicator whether there's crocs. Now I got the fishing rod out because normally if there's crocs there's a food source in there. Come up with absolutely nothing. So uh, we're going to head back now. Um, cannot wait to show you today's episode. It's going to be an absolute cracker. But yeah, we thought we'd just show you guys what a croc side actually looks like. And uh, if they're a lot bigger, you'll actually see a massive divot in the ground. They're a big girthy animal. So this is a real small one. It's obviously a little pup and uh, it's heading out to the ocean for a feed obviously because there's absolutely no fish in there. So. Your password is incorrect. Radio, this is a spot that not many people get to see on Arnhem Land. We're on Bremer Island. It takes about an hour boat ride at full tilt to get out of here. It's pretty rough today, so we've come out in the boat. We're going to explore the island, then we're going to jump out, throw some lures out, and hopefully catch some monster fish because there is some massive toothy fish out the back here. So we are pumped to get here, and this is definitely something not many people get to do, so we're feeling very privileged. There's a community on the island as well, which is cool as well, but yeah, what a day. We're with our good mates, Lifestyle App, Danny and Emma. Yeah, anyway, let's check it out. So this is what happened. Kill him, they saw you coming and we were like, nah, kicked him out. He got kicked off the island. <laughs> So, what happened? We got kicked out. Kicked off the <laughs> island. It is a resort, and people were paying a lot of money to come here, so I do understand. Disappointing. Oh, yeah, it is a bit disappointing, but that's all right. We showed you a bit of Bremer. Now the plan is to head out and catch some monster fish. Now, we will circumnavigate this island until we put a fish. the next tuna? Sarah's gonna catch the next <laughs> tuna. Apparently. We left Bremer, and it wasn't long before Sarah was hooked up to the biggest fish she's ever hooked up to in her life. 
and uh, shit was well and truly about to hit the fan. It was absolutely pandemonium. Oh, yes, a good fish. Huh? I thought it was a mac. I think it's a shark. A little shark. No, it's a barracuda. Is it? So what do I do? Or is it a mackerel? No, it's a barracuda, eh? <laughs> you're right. Now watch it. Oh, oh, you're right. Sarah, you're right, you're right. You're right, just hold it up. Grab the Sarah, just hold on to him. Keep him pulling this side. You're right, no, no, you're right. Don't kill him, kill him. Motor out, motor out of gear. 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 At this stage, the fan was covered in absolute shit. That didn't discourage us because uh, the fishing session was about to turn on. your 12 volt setup now is the time to do it itech world are having a massive black friday month sale up to 85 percent off and with our discount code skt that'll get you another five percent off so up to 90 percent off store wide that's lithium batteries solar blankets solar panels power stations dc and dc chargers you name it now is the time to buy it won't be cheaper don't miss out it's while stocks last back to the video has been a massive massive day we're absolutely exhausted but it was a very successful day we brought in three edible fish which was amazing four and four hello <laughs> hello Marco. anyway 
anyway, there's a little bit of a fire behind us. It should just be burning off, but it is pretty thick. So we're just going to hang around camp tonight and hopefully there'll be no issues. But I chose today to air the caravan out. Which is so. not a good thing. So the windows are open. Yeah, it's going to be smoky. And look how much smoke there is. All smoke, no fire. <laughs> Radio, so we have something very special planned today. We're heading out, it's about 25 minutes out of town, and we're actually meeting Nathan. Nathan was an ex-football player, he played a successful career for the Geelong Cats and the Western Bulldogs, and he is one of the traditional owners up here in East Arnhem Land. And uh, we are very, very lucky and privileged to be able to have this opportunity and hopefully show you guys some of the art in there. It's absolutely amazing. We've already been in there once and we cannot wait to show you. This area here, you're looking at this is so this is the northeast Arnhem Land. So we're the Yolngu people from northeast Arnhem Land. Um, all the dots here represent all the different uh, homelands. So many of our artwork we get along the coast, as you can see, the majority of the art, uh, all the, the dots are along the coastline. So all the homelands along here, you can see. The other two larger communities are Galawinko and Gapuya. All the poles you see here uh, represent log coffins, so the real name of these poles is called Ladakic. Ladakic, quite significant because of that story, is that the bones of the deceased would be placed inside them. So a long time ago we would um, place the bones of the deceased inside them. So all the bark, the poles, and the yuraki come from Rightio, we've got Nathan here, he's one of the TOs down here in Boima country and he's going to be taking us down to his homeland. So uh, thanks for having us man, really yeah, appreciate it. Hey, my pleasure. Boima, um, yeah that's my, my family's home. Um, so we'll head down there, I guess have a day of fishing, um, camping, yeah. just Sick. relaxing pretty much. Yeah. We're setting up our own tourism business yeah. down there, give you a bit of a glimpse of what we had planned. We're, we're based up here at the moment, out of Yitapa, and then we'll drive down the main road and head out to Darling Boy um, for the day, um, and they have their own business while we are one of them out there. Um, so we sit there with the family for the day and make some yudakis and gara um, and some garapuls with the family and collect pandanas and make mats and baskets. Yeah, I know Sarah's pretty keen on that, eh? Yeah, yeah. But like, yeah. everyone would have seen the other day me trying to make a didgeridoo, it was no good. <laughs> <laughs> So we're actually going to get a masterclass on actually how to do it properly. So, yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, like Nathan said, he's going to be starting up his own little company down there at Boima. So tours are going to be available, and it's going to be pretty sick. So we cannot wait to show you guys that. It's definitely something that not a lot of people get to do. So we are very privileged and lucky to be able to show you guys this, and that's going to be coming up. It won't be in this episode, but it'll be coming up. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It should be a sick journey. So anyway, thanks for having us, man. No What are we doing? We're going night fishing for some mud crabs. So we're going out in the boat, across the bay. It's a glass off out there, no wind. And uh, hopefully we don't die. But um, yeah, it's pitch black at night. And if we can get some muddies, it's gonna be a good day. What can go wrong? <laughs> yeah, what can go wrong? <laughs> Famous last words from the skipper. G'day guys, this year we'll be at the Perth Four Wheel Drive and Adventure Show. We're gonna be down in the content creator so the dates for that are the 10th to the 12th of November. Come down, say good day. We're gonna have Leroy on display, as well as our brand new van, which has some brand new technology in it. That's gonna be a sneak peek for everyone. Cannot wait to show you that. Plus, we'll have all of our merch there. So come down, say good day, support us, and uh, yeah, we'll see you down in Perth. And if you want a small discount off ticket prices, we've got a discount code, which is SKT, which you can use to buy tickets online. And the link is in the description for that as well. So see you down there, guys. All right, so you can't see, but there's our sturdy vessel. And uh, look at this sunset, it's beautiful. Arnhem Land is an absolute gem. And uh, yeah, to say I'm not nervous to go night fishing with Danny is a bit of a loose skipper. So um, yeah, it should be pretty eventful and it's low tide. So we might have a 
bit of running ground issue. So anyway. To paint the picture here, guys, East Arnhem Land is a wild, wild place in the best of times, even during the day when you can see everything now. To tackle it at night time is a totally different kettle of fish. We were more nervous than a sumo wrestler at a bodybuilding competition. This is extremely risky. To make matters worse, you're not only dealing with exposed reef systems, bundies, islands that pop out, sandbars that pop out, you've also got crocodiles, uh, irigangi jellyfish, you've got everything that can kill you under the sun, sharks, um, you bloody name it, it's in this ocean, it's a wild, wild place. Cool as this, you literally can't see anything but the stars in the sky. And uh, Danny's track just hooking into his star tracking tonight. He's, he's, he's not using his sounder, he's using the stars to show us where the mud crabs are. Right. <laughs> like some little mud skippers, eh? So cool. Oh, big school of them. Big school of mud skippers. All right, we've come probably, you know, a couple K from Goat there. Oh, whoa, look at that big one, big, big Gari. That's what smoked my big thumb the other day. Anyway, we've come about three or four Ks from the boat ramp, maybe further actually, maybe closer to 10, I reckon, maybe, but there's all these rocks. We're only in 1.1 meters of water, pitch black. You can't really see much. So Danny's got the big spotty out and we're just seeing where we can come up and land because you don't want to get stuck on the mud flat out here, eh? You'd be out here for hours. But anyway, it is low tide, so you do expect pretty shallow waters. So it feels pretty adventurous what we're doing right now. So there's no one else out here doing it. So we're either crazy or everyone else is just too sensible. <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting shallow here, Danny. We're gonna hit. See them rump, lumps? Race, so they're gonna hit. Pull the engine up. Yeah. Shallow, man. Look how shallow it is. That, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is mad. Big bomby just here, Danny. Yeah. Is the weight good where it is? Yeah. Now we're off it now. <laughs> Not far. But definitely hitting the ground here, but look at that big brain coral there. It's still deep enough for me to be worrying a little bit about the crocs. Oh. Looks like we are stuck on the ground here. <laughs> We are stuck. We are out in East Arnhem Land, stuck on a mud flat, trying to go mud crabbing 15 kilometers away from camp. So we just got to pause down. <laughs> Do you want to kid him? Oh! Oh, yes. Yes. I'll get the bucket, man. You just control him. Yeah. Oh, got him? Yeah, okay. yeah. now you hold him down there. That's a monster muddy man. Look at the claws on the dog. One of them would take your finger off, I reckon. Yeah, now I can't see that. It's too muddy. Yeah. Nice. How did I miss that one? Eh? I'll get the bucket. Yeah. How sick is that? How cool is that? Ooh. <laughs> That's sick. I'm gonna name him Kermit. <laughs> so we've made it to the bank here and uh, check out all these baby muddies. Look at that. Muddy, 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 muddy. 
bulk muddies, but just not big enough. They're all juvenile. Fingers crossed we can find a bit of a bigger one here. Got to keep looking up in the top here to make sure there's no crocs. Oh, that's a big one. Got to stop him from oh, going in that oh. hole. That cod. I'll block him as well, man. Yeah, just hold him down with you. That's it. I'm not spearing him, I just... Got him? Tell me yep. when you got him. You yep. got him? Yep. Yes. That's a female, but... Yeah. Eggs? No. Big buff, look at that. <laughs> Damn it. He's a good sized cod. Oh, here's another one. Is that a jack? That is a jack, that's a big jack. Oh, good. I'm 40 centimetre jack. <laughs> oh, I just missed a jack with the spear. Spear one, eh? If I had half an idea, I would have got him, I reckon. Is that a cod? I'd say so. The torch is dying. Oh. Barramundi. This tide's coming up pretty quick, eh? It is, isn't it? Whoa. What are they? Mullet? Crab man. He's a monster. I'll pin him. I don't want him going back in his hole, man. Ready? Oh, you're keen, man. <laughs> there goes your big toe. You good? Oh, you got him? Yep. Oh, you got him. Big female. Oh, oh, oh look at that thing. <laughs> oh, we're eating good tonight. <laughs> okay, four crabs. It's not bad at all, really. But Danny just said, I think we've been here just long enough to spark a little bit of interest from some big snapping handbags. So we better leave with our winnings before they take them from us. Or we'll take our lives. <laughs> no, yeah. No, 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 we got we got enough water there. Yeah. Oh, it's a squid. No. Yeah. Put it in the bucket. Yep, it is. You want the net? Oh no, it's not a squid. It's a um. It's oh, you missed it. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh, back in safe. <laughs> I'm <a bit> scared, just <laughs> then. down the river and get some barramundi. Oh. 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 Right here. 